Sirs Bedan, President of the Republic of the Philippines, Bedan Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kindly sit down. Thank you for your courtesy. I have two pages actually, and I could uh, read it in about maybe a minute and a half. Kakahiya, no? I was here, uh, forgot the exact place. Maybe it was on that side when I, my oath of office as a uh, member of the bar. Alam mo, uh, my mother was not here and uh, nobody was with me. Kamatay lang ng tatay ko. But still I remember that I wept a little sa banyo. And thank God for the privilege of having been a graduate of the San Beda College of Law. I'd like to share with you the vignettes uh, of my life. ano sa buhay ko. Actually, naiinggit ako sa inyo. Uh, kasi hindi ako pinayagan ng mga brothers, pati pare, mag-graduate. <laughs> I was not allowed to take part in the graduation exercises because on the last days of our for the year, mag-graduate na we're practicing in sayo na kung paano magano ng diploma to take a bow. And then suddenly uh, there was this happening inside the school. Wag na natin pag-usapan yon. Kasi magagalit yung pare, pati. <laughs> so I got expelled. So I was not allowed to join the graduation. So ako naman, umuwi na lang sa Rabao because at that time, expelled ako. Anong nanay ko nagtanong, sabi niya, Rodrigo, kailan, kailan ba ako pupunta ng Maynila? I kept assuring her that graduation was coming and, uh, you know, as a mother, excited as I was, she was in a hurry. So, when I know kasi tawagan lang sa probinsya, you call PAL and place uh, a reservation. And pagdating mo sa airport, bayad ko lang. That was the time. And, uh, sabi niya, mukhang may graduation ata. Nabasa ko sa ano, newspaper. <laughs> sabi ko, ma, Sabi kasi ng pare, magulo. <laughs> magulo talaga ang Mindyola noon. We were the martial law lawyers. We took the bar under immense pressure. You know, every 300 meters, andoon yung metrocom. At lahat yung matataas na buhok, ginupitan. Uh, those were the times, so it was not really good for anything except maybe to go home and relax. Sabi ko, masabi ng pare kasi magulo ang unjola. And may mga pillbox kung saan saan nag naglipad. Uh, nagmisa lang kami sa abi, chapel. At binigyan kami ng diploma na wala naman laman. Para sabihin lang na graduate, uh, definitely the graduation will take place. But maybe during a more uh, somber time. So, wala naman ang nanay ko. So, oh, finally, uh, on review, the faculty, Salo, San Beda, decided to Pardon me and allowed me to t take the bar. Kasi kung hindi na ako certify, paano makakuha that I have graduated in the course of the College of Law? 
So I was allowed to take the bar. I was certified as a graduate. So nakakuha ako ng bar sa awa ng Diyos. Uh, pasa naman kami. 73, I became a lawyer. Kaya dyan ako nag, nag oath noon. Many years after, I don't know if they're still around, may crush kasi ako ng isang istorya lang man ito. <laughs> She was that lady na makita mo doon sa St. Alsem's building, if you go up, yung babae na I don't know if he's still around, yung babae doon nakaupo, na may lunal dito. Kasi kung nandito pa siya, pakasalan kita ma'am pag nabiyuda ka na. <laughs> Talagang crush kita. And every time that I mag-akyat ako, tinitignan ko siya, alam niya na may may gusto ako sa kanya. Ang problema, hindi ko alam kung may gusto siya sa akin. <laughs> From a distance. But she knew that uh, I was her admirer. So yung pag-akyat mo, mayroon doong window. Parang, I don't know if it's the cashier, pero doon sa left side, pa-akyat. Ma'am, if you are still around, can I just maybe shake your hand? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. So, many years after, si... Wala man tayo mag-go. After my speech, nobody talked. Oh, so, would you rather that we go home? Pwede mag-chismis-chismis muna tayo dito. Istorya mo lang itong graduation kasi. Many years after, pumunta sila sa Church of Transfiguration. You guys from San Beda, uh, if you have time, you travel to Bukidnon. There's uh, a church there called the Transfiguration Church. And uh, every afternoon, yung mga monks natin kumakanta. At every time that I passed by, the, in the years that I was mayor of Davao, dumadaan talaga ako, dumakinig lang ako sa kanta nila. And how they can sing. So, Pumunta doon ang mga teachers, nag, they called it immersion, I do. But the late father Luxon was with them. Tapos usap sila na, oh, yung sa Davao was just a few more uh, kilometers. Davao ka na. So sabi nila, punta tayo ng Davao. Kasi yun si Mayor Berdan. But at that time, I was in Taiwan. Ang problema, pagdating doon, there's a small community of Bedans. Walang, ano, uh, most of them are graduates of inferior schools. Uh, one in Diliman, the other one is in <laughs> Padre Paura. Kukunti lang kami yung taga San Beda, but to all them was the Aquino family. Uh, quite rich until now. So siya ang nag-blow out. So lahat ng Beda ni Yaya. Nagsiputan doon lahat, sabi na wala man si Mayor, we will invite the mother. Mama ko pumunta noon. Nung nakausap, pinakila, oh, Father, Father Laksa, ito yung nanay ni... Mayor Duterte. Sabi ng nanay ko, Father, yung graduation nila, Rodrigo. <laughs> Sabi ng graduation nila, natuloy ba yun? Sabi ni Father Lapso, Sabi ng mga nandun, Oo, oh, natuloy. Bakit? Kasi hindi man ako napunta, walang, there was no proper notice or anything. Sabi niya, why, did your, not, uh, did your son told you the truth? Sabi niya, nanay ko, anong, ano pala ang totoo? Sabi niya, na-expel dyan kasi may binaril na tao doon sa loob. Sa <laughs> Wala. Hindi. 
Nung pagdating ko, I was conf- confronted by my mother. Alam ko kasi yung style ng nanay ko. Pag sinabi, sabihin mo kay Rodrigo, dito siya kumain kasi magpaluto siya ng inununan. Unununa. Sabi, inununa sa Tagalog. Baksyo, inununan. Mga sundalo. So, baksyo, pagka ganun, okay yan. Pero pag ang message is, papuntahin ka ng nanay mo, ngayon, delikado na yan. <laughs> so, pagdating ko, sabi niya, bakit hindi mo sinabi sa akin ang totoo? So, lumhod ako. Talagang lumhod. Literally, I knelt down in front of her and said, mapasailo ako. Pasailo yung patawarin mo ako. Uh, ayaw ko lang kasi kayong ipahamak. Uh, you would have to worry. But at that time, when I went home early, I was expelled. Though I was reconsidered. So, and eventually, naging 73 kami, release ng bar. <laughs> maya, maya, uh, the first uh, offer of award, uh, Achievers Award, so ako, si Pitoy Moreno, ma- marami, lima kami noon. Nung sinabi sa akin, sabi ko, ah, yung punta dyan, expelled, expelled kayo ngayon, award, award, ang klase ito. <laughs> <laughs> so, hindi ako pumunta. Tapos, second time, kita-kita kami nila, Fred Lim. So, bakit di ka sumipot doon? Pinang- pinatawad ka na nga, Ambu- ikaw pa yung suplado. <laughs> so, the next time I was, uh, I was given this award, uh, uh, sumipot ako. Tapos, uh, this is my first time with you actually. But uh, no previous alumni, uh, kita-kita kami, I was awarded. Karami kong, you know what, hindi kiti ko kayo niluloko ha. Ni sa pag-aral ko ni Tan San, walang nagbigay sa akin. <laughs> Ngayon yung San Beda, may, 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 may ito yung, yung trophy. Tapos ngayon, now, introducing the... Uh, The Hall uh, of Fame, Rodrigo Duterte. So may medalya, kalaki pati, plak. <laughs> Sabi ko, sino pa ang nasa Hall of Fame? Sabi niya, wala, ikaw lang mag-isa. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I would like to thank the Benedictine community for Such a wonderful show of uh, mercy. <laughs> ano sabi ni Shakespeare? The act of mercy is never st- strained, something strained. Yang hinahasa. And I got back uh, uh, being an awardee. Pero sa scholastic, ala, patay. <laughs> Kung hindi niyo sirain yung Mignola Bridge, yung sa kanto, Ayan, saan ang College of Law? Ayan, sus, Mario Josep. Walang ginawa yan kung galing si Lebre. Yan yung minjola, yung bridge. Pagbaba mo, ligarda. Yung kanto, nandyan pa? Oh, chilled beer. <laughs> yung ilaw na yan, naging judge. Yes, yes. Puro. Clavicilia is the, he used to be the judge of Naga. Doon kami sa ano. Kaya, yan ito sila, di dumaan kay Solidom. May, may ano ako dyan. Ito si Rene, may ari nito. Beda niyan. Where are you, Rene? Pwede pa ba ako magsalita? Wala. <laughs> Wala. Wala man akong iyabang. Walang medalya, wala lahat. So, ito na lang yung, ano, yun, ay, ay, kasi late tag rin din ako eh. Noon is Veronica. Pino, by the way, si Bastian, yung youngest son ko, 
bedanya ulang ginawa kong hindi maghabol ng babae hanggang ngayon <laughs> kagaya na trabaho na tatay niya noon for this one is worse parang kami may dynamics yan kasi may mga anak eh so well anyway uh, eh, itong sa uh, well I, I, I was forgiven I yun ang platform ko. I was proud to be called the Bedan. Itong anak ko, gusto na rin mag-aral dito. Gusto niya magtira dyan, sabi ko na. You're better off with your mother sa Davao lang siya. Sabi niya, pa, yan bang matanda na yan nandyan sa ano, kabinet mo? Sabi ko, sino na? Yan yung matanda na yung bisaya. So, si Leonor Briones. So, oh, yan. Di ba? Bisaya yan, sabi ko. So, sabi na, ano mo nakain niya? Bakit? Hinabaan niya itong kurso namin, K-12. <laughs> sabi ko na, wala mo tayong problema dyan. If it's just a matter of suggesting, I can But, sabi ko, uh, I would uh, have to go into uh, incongruity. Ngayon, bakit? Kung alam mo na, ang original K-12 talaga, tatay mo. <laughs> It took me seven years to finish high school. <laughs> Kaya matanda na ako sa kanina. I'm 73. Ito sila rin yung mga 70 lang yan. Kasi na... Well, including the scholarship of Soroy and Soroy is La Quacha. Took I mean, seven years actually to... May professor kami. Itong solidum na ito, galing ito, Kapis. To justice. Ang boses nito, may mga taga law school, ang boses nito, yung boses, ano, siya, shrill. That's what Nixir, and he could only pronounce the last syllable. Bete! Di, tindi, kira, Laurenti, pati ako, tumindig. Graut siya na, no? Pero lahat kay, dumaan kay solidum. Ang remedya, no? Una kami yung natapos. Tapos tumindig kami sa mga Oh, God damn it! I did not call you! Sit down! Sit down ako. Ah, you stand up! Sir, I did not... I, 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 I did not hear my name, sir. Called. Ah, because you are always talking at the back. God damn it, come here in front. Ganon kami sa college job. Kaya man siguro, ngayon, mga bata. Pagdating ko sa, pinopo ako dyan sa front. Naka, naka, Sabi niya, okay, lunti, lunti, sit down. You recite. Di tindi ka ko, sabi ko. Sabi niya, what? <laughs> sabi ko, sir, there is no question yet, sir. Puta na galit. <laughs> sabi Sabi ba lang, matanak. Kaya gagano'n ako yan. God damn it, Duterte! Do not scratch your head and scatter your dundrop in this room! Keep it on your head, that is the only one you have. Diba ako kay Puno, Solidom, Chaka Sinto? He's still around, sir. Jack? Jack Sinto. He's still around, sir. Jack? Jack Sinto. Patay na. Tayo na ang sunod, Bong. 
Eh, that was uh, class 72. Sa amin, tatlo ang pumasok ng top 10. May I now read the <laughs> piece that was prepared by John lang yan, the PMS, yung Presidential Management Staff. Kasi pag hindi, nagsasabi yung kagod. <laughs> hindi mo lang rin pala pagbasa pa, paggawa pa na. So, in fairness, uh, I congratulate our graduates for reaching this remarkable milestone in their academic journey. Let us work together in forging a stronger citizenry who proactively respond to the call of the service of our country and people. As you leave the halls of your alma mater, I ask you to join me in our shared task of uplifting the well-being of our people and looking after the welfare of the poor and the marginalized. Hand in hand, let us march towards a more peaceful and progressive Philippines. Again, congratulations to the class of 2018. Mabuhay kayong lahat at ako'y sumasaludo sa inyo. Thank you very much, our dear President, for gracing this momentous occasion. We are greatly honored by your presence.